what do you do if you love dairy but your stomach doesn't really agree? I know it was always a constant battle for me because I love a good bowl of cereal any time of day. So I turned to all of the alternatives, soy milk, rice milk, almond milk, and nothing got me excited. So that's why we're here today because today I'm going to show you how to make oat milk. All you really need are two ingredients. You need your oats and your water. But we're going to spice it up a little bit because I like a little bit of sweetness. So water, we need four cups of water. One cup of oats to sweeten it up. I've got some dates. I'm going to use four. And then just for a little added sweetness, we're going to go with a little bit of vanilla. One tablespoon. That's it. Then it's time to blend. All right, so we blend it here for about a minute. You don't want to go much longer than that because it'll make your milk kind of slimy. We don't want that. That's not yummy. Okay, so now here's the tricky thing is we want to strain and we really want to get as much of these little particles, especially from the date, out of here. So this blends pretty good, but I normally start with my strainer. So we're going to do that first. Now you can see the pulp is real thick. It's not straining that great, but we're gonna do it again. So let's get this all out and we'll do a second strain. All right, so here's the consistency after straining it just once, and it's fine, it's not bad, but I wanna get it a little bit finer. So I'm gonna use cheesecloth. A lot of people use nut bags. When I don't have cheesecloth, I just use paper towels. But this is gonna get our consistency exactly the way we want. So one more strain. All right, and you see how it's really trying to get through that? That's what I like because I don't want the pulp, but you don't want to throw it away. So we're going to squeeze it all out. Now, you've got a lot of extra pulp here. You don't want to throw that out. Remember, we don't waste anything. So you can throw that in your smoothies. That gives you a little extra fiber. You can also do really anything with it. Freeze it, use it for cookies, whatever you want. Just don't throw it away. Okay, so our last step. Let me show you what we got. All right, so the oat milk is done. So let's show you how it looks. And I can vouch for the taste because I've already had some. I made some this morning and it is so yummy. Look at there, I didn't make too much of a mess either. And it's more than just delicious. There are so many benefits, including lots of fiber. And if you throw those dates in there, you get a little extra potassium as well. And it's free of all of those allergens. So whether you love dairy or hate it, you have an alternative here. So now that this is done, you're gonna to wanna to throw it in the refrigerator and it'll stay good for about three to five days. Trust me, it's that yummy that you won't have to have it in there for that long because you're gonna drink it all up. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps put you on the track of being more self-sufficient. Remember, make it on your own. You know exactly what you're putting in there and you're saving some money. So again, thanks for watching. Share this video. Don't forget to